So two weeks ago, I went with two of my brothers to shoot a Porsche 964 on a mountain road and we went to do some rolling shots, boat photos and video. So if you haven't checked out the video yet, I already posted the B-roll sequence. You can check that out right here. And in this video, I'll be going over the photos that we took that day and most of the photos will be rolling shots, but I also took some detailed photos and some standing shots. So let's go over these photos. I've got them right here on my phone and there's about 15 or 16 of them. So let's go over the first shot. And the first shot is a rolling shot. I went with a cinematic edit on this first photo. And I think this one really stands out because the car is white and the background is really dark. So there's kind of a pop to the uh, photo. As you can see, the photo is really desaturated and the subject to this photo which is the car is really clarified and the surroundings are declarified to give it this kind of cinematic look for the second photo you can see that i went for a less cinematic look it is essentially the same photo with just a different edit and for this one i went with a fade look but not so cinematic you can see that there's a lot of green in the background which was not present in the first photo and I went with it for this one but I still think that the first one is better than this one because it stands out the car stands out much more in the first one for the third photo now we have a different kind of background this one is really well lit you can see that the Sun is over the hill and you can see a lot of the yellow and green colors in the background so i couldn't really go for uh, much of a cinematic look because i wanted to show the yellow in the background and i also wanted the, the car to be seen for the fourth shot we have the same kind of look just applied on a different photo now this one is really cool because you can see the road behind weaving behind the hill and it really makes it a cool photo now only regret that i have for this photo is that the car could have been centered more and I could have shot it wider. This was not a 24 millimeters. This was around 35 or something. This one could have been better, but yeah, I still like it and it's a really cool photo. The fifth photo is just about like 20 meters after the previous one. And you can see that now the hill has opened up and there's really a lot of lit background. So I went with a desaturated edit, but still left yellow in the background. Now in this one, the car could have been edited better. It is really not well lit since it was in complete shade. In the raw file of this photo, the car was completely in the dark. You could only see these headlights. I think comparing it to the raw photo, uh, this one turned out really cool. So yeah, on to the next one. And in this one, we have a cool stone wall behind uh, the car. Now this is the main reason why I chose this mountain road to photograph this car because of this stone wall because I knew that if I took a photo of the car in front of the stone wall that it's going to look very cool that we're going to have a cool background that really stands out and the car is white so it also stands out in front of this wall so yeah this is probably my favorite photo of this photo shoot I went for the cinematic look that you already seen in the first photo this is the same cinematic look only a couple of adjustments since it was kind of a different lighting in this one so this this one is a bit more exposed but yeah it is essentially the same result as the first one except in this one we have the stone wall behind now for the next one we have the first photo that is really lighting up the car more we have the car going into the turn and we have a well-lit photo except for the leftmost part of the car which is shadowed by the trees over the top so the shadows are not really doing any good to this photo, but it adds kind of a vibe to it, I guess. It's a cool photo. I added some orange to the highlights and I like the edit, but it is a mediocre photo. So next photo, we have a car going over a bridge, which is kind of a U-turn bridge. So you can see it is going heavily to the left and the car is turning. The lighting could have been better since the car is white. If it's really well lit, then it's going to be mostly overexposed if you don't don't get the settings right on your camera and this one was really exposed when I got it so I had to crush down on the highlights and increase the shadows because they were really harsh uh, but yeah I managed to salvage the photo and it looks kind of okay I'm not completely satisfied with it but it will work 
and now for the next couple of photos we have the rolling shots but this time we're going downhill we're going back and we decided to turn the headlights fully on this time because I wanted to see how will they look in the dark areas that we encountered on the way up. And you can see this one is a dark area. I did kind of a fadey look. You can see that the headlights are really a bit too much right now. I'm not sure that I really like when the headlights are fully on. But yeah, it's still a cool photo. We have the rocky background, which really complements the car well since it's white, as I said. Now for the 10th photo, we've got the widest shot of this day. And this was taken at 24 millimeters, but was cropped in at the end because the sun got in the photo. And it was not the most fun photo to edit because there was a lot of uh, green, yellow and orange color in the trees behind. And it was really hard to kind of leave all those colors in there and still focus on the subject and not make it kind of bland. So I went for some calibration to make all the colors into green. So yeah, I think what makes this photo cool is actually the background, the mountains in the background. Other than that, the subject is really a bit underexposed. I would have loved if it was exposed more, but as you can see by the shadow, the sun was in the background, so the front was uh, really left to adjusting shadows in the Lightroom. Now after the rolling shots we went to record some b-roll and then went back to the location where I shot the previous Porsche 911, the black one, which you might have seen in my previous videos. So we stopped there to make some detail shots and as you can see in this one we've got the front of the car from the left side and the front left wheel that are the subject of the photo and you can see a factory in the background really makes it kind of a cool photo the car is not as lit as i would have liked it to be the sun was all the way to the left so it was really lighting up only the front of the car not really much the sides so again i had to play with the shadows in lightroom to make this photo work and i added some fade to compensate for the loss of light because every time that i have a underexposed subject adding some fade kind of fixes it for me it really adds a cool cinematic vibe to it and it just fixes the photo now for the next one i went for a wide angle shot from the front left side and this was done at 24 millimeters i did a similar angle with the previous porsche and i wanted to try it on this one as well and it turned out really amazing I, I guess it turned out even better than the previous Porsche because the car is white and I really like how it pops up in really well lit conditions. Now the next shot was done with the 85 millimeter lens. It was again a front left shot, but in this one I went for a vertical shot and just focusing on the two headlights in the front. Now for the 14th shot, I took a detail shot of the Carrera logo on the back and this one was done under a tree and you can see that the sun rays are going through the tree and kind of leaving this interesting light on the back of the car. For this one I added a lot of teal and blue for the shadows and a bit of pink, a kind of pinkish orange to the highlights to make it kind of vibey look I guess. Now the 15th photo is an interior photo that I did in between the rolling shots somewhere and this one was really underexposed because there was absolutely no sun. This was when the car was under the tree. So this had to be really heavily edited in a Lightroom and it turned out really great. I desaturated the colors a lot because the interior was mainly black. So I didn't want anything besides the black interior and the uh, red markers on the dashboard. I also left the green in the background because I didn't want the trees to be black really but yeah this is a cool photo unexpectedly it turned out really well and i like it a lot and for the last shot i just did a detail shot of the logo on the front but this one is really straightforward just a logo shot really added some clarity to it to make it pop from the bonnet so yeah this is pretty much all the photos so now when i look back at the photos and the video that i made i'm really satisfied with the result I could have done it better, I could have been prepared more for the shoot, some settings were not correct when doing the video and a lot of photos were overexposed or underexposed. I could have had the settings really better managed and the photos would turn out uh, much better and I would have had more than just uh, around 16 photos to show you because there was around 200 of them shot and around 80 of them picked for editing and in the end 
around 20 of them made the cut, 16 of which I showed you. So I guess I could say that I learned a lesson when preparing for a photo shoot that uh, includes rolling photography and videography. In the end, what matters most is that I'm satisfied with the photos, but again, it is really important to be better every time you do it. So a couple of lessons learned and we'll do it better next time. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope you liked these photos that I showed you. And if you did, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more of this kind of photography in the future. I will be doing more rolling shot photography in the future, definitely. This one was really a blast and I really liked it. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.